Hi everybody, Basil Puglisi here. You can follow me on Twitter at Basil Puglisi. And so I am filming this uh, through glass and I'm pretty excited. This is the glass dashboard, um, but uh, I live in Long Island in the New York area and we have Optimum Wi-Fi who provides hundreds of Wi-Fi hotspots all over the region, uh, train stations, coffee shops, uh, businesses. Uh, they set up this wonderful network where if you're a Cablevision customer, uh, you can go ahead and automatically connect your devices every time you come in range of one of their Wi-Fi hotspots. Um, but to do that, uh, you have to log in and, and save the device. Google Glass does not have a browser built into it, so we have to find another way to do that. Uh, how we can do that is, is when we go to Optimum, uh, over on the side, we have the option to enable a new device. You can see some of the devices listed there. Uh, and when we click the enable device, it pops up and it says, OK, enter your device's MAC address. So we would enter it once. We would hit continue. We'd enter it again. We would hit enter and the device would be preloaded. In this case, you can see Basil's Google Glass is loaded right there. So anytime I am in range of an optimum Wi-Fi hotspot, my Google Glass will automatically connect to the Optimum Wi-Fi network. Uh, how do you get your MAC address, you may ask? Well, thanks to the people over at Google Glass doing some, uh, some creative troubleshooting with me, we found a really nice way to be able to access your MAC address for your Google Glass device. What you can do is, is you can go to your, your router's network, and in this case, uh, here is my router's network uh, as displayed by my, my Netgear Genie. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this, uh, so just uh, Google your, your router and it'll show you how to see the network and which devices are connected to it. Uh, one of the quick ways to find out what it is, in case you have multiple Android devices uh, like I do in the house, is you shut off your Google Glass, refresh it, see who's on that list, turn your Google Glass back on, refresh it, and the new device is going to be your Android device for Google Glass. In this case, here it is, we click it, and boom, there we go. Right down here is our MAC address. So we can enter that MAC address into the Optimum Wi-Fi network and it'll be remembered. In this case, Basil's Google Glass. That's how you find your MAC address to connect your Google Glass to things like the Optimum Wi-Fi network. Uh, and if you have any other questions, shoot them over to me on Twitter at Basil Puglisi or call the extremely helpful and wonderful people over at Google Glass.